Hello, my mathematicians. Today we are going to be looking at lesson 4.1, which is called Write Numerical Expressions. And hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to write a numerical expression to model a real world situation and can interpret a numerical expression. So let's look at Spark Your Learning. It says a drum line is made up of 14 fourth grade drummers and 12 fifth grade drummers. The fourth grade drummers stand in line and the fifth grade drummers stand in the line behind them. Draw a visual model of the situation. Describe how you can represent how many more drummers are in fourth grade than in fifth grade. So I'm going to start by drawing um, my 14 fourth grade drummers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then I'm going to draw my 12 fifth grade drummers. So I'm going to do that in another color. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So then it says describe how you can represent many more drummers or how many more drummers are in the fourth grade and then in the fifth grade. So we're going to write or I'm going to type. Um, I can put 14 circles. in one group and 12 circles in another group I can look to see the total number of fourth graders is 14 and the total number of fifth graders is 12. I can subtract 12 from 14 to find how many more drummers are in fourth grade and grade. And that is it for that page. We can go to the next page. So every day, Thor practices each page of music six times. Draw a visual model to show the number of pages Thor practices each day and explain your visual model. So we have one, two, three, four pages here. So I'm going to draw... A rectangle and I'm going to split it into force so this would represent one time and then I do that six times so I'm gonna draw six of them Three, four, five, six, 
six, and I'm gonna split them all into fours. As you can see, my rectangles are not very even. That's okay. Still gives me the quick model. So then it says, which operation does or describes this situation? How do you know? Well, if we look back up here, it's saying again, music six times. So the operation is multiplication. several groups of the same size are being combined. So how can you model the number of pages of music Thor practices each day using a numerical expression? Well, if you come over here, says you can model a context mathematically using a numerical expression. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that uses only numbers and operation signs. So over here, we're going to have six times four. So we're doing six times the four pages. So describe what the numbers and operation sign in a numerical expression represent. The four represents the number of pages of music and the six represents the number of times she practiced or practices each page the multiplication sign represents combining six groups of four. And then we're going to move to the next page. Okay, so it says, Mr. Lopez bought a snack two times this week while watching the drumline practice. Both days he started with the same amount of money and had $3 left after he bought his snack. How can you model the amount of money Mr. Lopez spent in one day? Write a numerical expression. Well, we can see over here that he's handing the person $5, and he has $3 left over, so... We would say that this is five minus three. And next it says, how can you model the amount of money you spent on snacks? Write a numerical expression for each day. Well, for each day, it's the same. So it'd be five minus three and five minus three. 
So C says, how can you model the amount of money spent in two days using a single numerical expression? Use two operation size in parentheses in your expression. So what that means is instead of just having this here, we're going to do two times one of these. So we would say two times, and we're going to put d5 minus 3 in parentheses because that's what we're doing. That's representing one day. So that's why we put that in parentheses. So here it says, how do you know where to place the parentheses in your numerical expression? So basically, you need to look at the meaning of the words in the problem. So like I said, we put our parentheses around one Um, one day, and we wanted two times that. And that is all for today. Remember, in order to be a math person, you just need to be a person and do math.